Hi, this is Dunamis333. Today I want to talk about how is the Lord preparing us for His coming? How is He doing it? What is He doing today to prepare us? And what is our part in this preparation? Uh, first, I'm going to read Romans chapter 8, verse 9, 9 to 11. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is is life because of righteousness. I'm just going to stop here for a moment. The body is dead because of sin. Now, this death is not six feet deep death. This is spiritual death. Because, you know, the, the body enjoys sin. It, it, the impulse of sin is ever present in our bodies. That can't be eradicated. It can't be reformed. The body has to be literally destroyed and replaced with a new body. That's why God is coming to give us a new body, because sin is in it. However, it says, the spirit is life because of righteousness. This means that the Holy Spirit flows into our souls and fills our souls with everlasting life when we are practicing righteousness. Mm -hmm. So the Spirit is eternal life in our souls when we are practicing righteousness. That's why it says the Spirit is life because of righteousness. The practice of righteousness is what indicates eternal life is in our souls. This is why it says in 1 John 3.10, Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God. Why? Because such a person doesn't have everlasting life in their souls. Hmm? Nor is he who does not love his brother. If you don't love your brother, you don't have everlasting life in your soul. And this is First Peter 1 verse 22. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, in sincere love of the brethren, Love one another fervently with a pure heart. You see, all this is the work of the Holy Spirit. Hmm? You obey the truth through the Spirit. What does the Spirit make us do? Love the brethren. It, it moves you to do righteousness. The soul can only retain eternal life when righteousness is practiced. You can't hold on to eternal life if, the, if you're not physically doing righteousness. This is why it's important for us to know. At the moment, we have everlasting life in our souls. We are waiting for the day when we'll have bodies that have everlasting life. That's, that's why the body won't die, won't age, and, and it will live forever. This is the, sec the last part of um, Romans 8, um, verse 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, so the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead, it dwells in us. What's the Holy Spirit doing? It's filling our souls with everlasting life as we practice righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. You see? So, if, if the Holy Spirit is doing one part, in other words, is filling our souls with everlasting life as we practice righteousness, then it's going to do the last part. It's going to give life to our bodies. Uh, if anyone wants to see how he's going to do that, watch the, uh, my video, um, e Nuclear EMP. And, and uh, I think there's a testimony of exactly what's going to happen, how this body that is 
this body of death is going to change into a body of life a body of eternal life it's going to happen in an instant hmm? but, but what the Holy Spirit is doing now is filling us with everlasting life our souls with everlasting life as we practice the righteousness of God hmm? you see and that is the hope for practicing righteousness um, look this is another verse here Galatians 5.5 5. For we through the Spirit eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. You see, so we're waiting. The Holy Spirit is moving us to wait. You know, we're, we're, it says, for, for we through the Spirit eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. What's the hope of righteousness? Everlasting life in our bodies. You see, so we practice righteousness. Because we've got everlasting life in our souls. And we're waiting. We're, so we're practicing righteousness by faith. Believing that one day. One day in time. The Lord is going to come. And give eternal life. Cause eternal life to be in our bodies. That's why it says. For we are. For, this is Romans 8. 23. 25. We ourselves grown within ourselves. Eagerly waiting. For the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we are saved in this hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? See, we can't see what we're hoping for yet. But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. We wait for it. We're waiting it for it. So what we're doing in the moment, what are we doing in the interim? We are practicing righteousness. Because by practicing righteousness, we are purifying our souls hmm, as we obey the truth of loving the brethren, loving one another fervently. And we are waiting. And we're, and we're doing this by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us the ability to wait, to practice righteousness in the interim as we wait for our bodies to be changed from mortality to immortality. So, my brothers and sisters, this is what the Lord is doing today by His Holy Spirit. Only, and it's only those like we read in, in Romans. Hmm? Let me read it again. This is Romans 8, 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. The people that belong to Christ have his Spirit in them. The people that belong to Christ have everlasting life in their souls. The people that belong to Christ are continuously practicing righteousness. The people that belong to Christ fervently love others the people that belong to Christ they love their spouses the husbands love their wives wives love their husbands because they've got everlasting life that produces the righteousness of God don't be deceived but I don't, anyone that will tell you you don't need to practice righteousness you just need to believe believing causes you to receive everlasting life everlasting life causes you to practice righteousness you cannot have one without the other when we believe what happens when we believe we receive everlasting life well when you receive everlasting life the holy spirit is going to move you to practice righteousness so that that life you've received can be can be secured can be can rest can become part of you is rooted in you Righteousness is what causes everlasting life to take root. If you just believe, as I just believe, and yet you're practicing lawlessness. See, this is remember what the Lord said depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Even though they've been preaching, even though they've been you know doing healing the sick, they did not they did not practice righteousness. And a lot of people think that they don't need to practice righteousness. They don't need to love their spouses. They don't need to love their husbands. They just need to just believe. 
through believing will cause eternal life to be in your soul. And if eternal life is in your soul, righteousness, the practice of righteousness is the end result. This is the word of God. And you won't hear this being preached. But if you want to go into rapture, you should be practicing righteousness. That's how you purify your souls. The Holy Spirit is available to us because Christ shed his blood on the cross. He shed his blood to make his Holy Spirit available. And this is the work of the Holy Spirit today. To make sure you have eternal life in your soul. And to, to root that eternal life in you by practicing righteousness. So that one day in time, hopefully much sooner than later, he's going to it's going to cause eternal life to be in your bodies as well. It's going to be an instantaneous change from mortality to immortality. So the Holy Spirit is already working. He has to be working in you now before before the rapture takes place. Because, you know, um, the Holy Spirit, that's why you, there's one verse that says the Holy Spirit is a guarantee. If you have the Holy Spirit in you now and is moving you to practice righteousness now, then it's going to move you, it's going to cause you, your body to change when the Lord comes. My brothers and sisters, I'll speak to you soon. Hopefully, it will be at the wedding banquet. God bless you all.